Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Layer by Layer. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick video today showing you a bunch of different um, qualities for a print. So you guys can decide, you know, the happy medium between quality and quick prints. So if I switch over here, you can see I have this uh, Benchy model right here in Simplify 3D. And if I set it to fast, 0.3 millimeters, this is probably the lowest quality my printer can go without like really screwing it up. So as you can see, um, the la obviously the layers are visible. Even when I zoom out, you can still see them, but um, oops. The flat parts that are angled. So like, yes, this is all gonna be flat, but up here, this is kind of angled, right? So you're gonna get this very visible stair-stepping effect also here and also here. But if we go back, change this to say 0.05, ridiculously high resolution, 50 microns. It takes much longer to slice, but the stair-stepping effect is almost invisible and you can't even see the lines. I have to zoom way in for you to even be able to see those lines. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, so I printed a bunch of these at all the different um, settings. So I'll show them to you now. And I found something very interesting. So this is the 0 0.5, 0 0.05, sorry. And it's very shiny. There was a little over extrusion there, but it's really shiny. Everything is perfectly clear. Um, the overhangs are very nice. If you look at the top, aside from my marking, you can see the stair stepping effect is still there, but it's not that bad whatsoever. So then I took it one step up. This is point 0.1, just as shiny, I would say. Less over extrusion. Come on. There we go. Less over extrusion. The stair stepping on the top is just as minimal. Um, I think this model actually came out better and I actually they were so close in quality that when they printed I mixed them up pretty identical I'm sure I mean you can take a guess in the comments which one is which right or left um, but yeah so I'll show you this is point one this is point zero five on this side and they are just I mean even if the if you look at the top stair stepping effect is almost exactly the same and one of them is supposed to be double quality i mean it well it's double resolution for sure but should be almost double quality and i almost think the higher resolution messed up because just the over extrusion um so this is the point two this would be considered normal quality on most printers you can definitely see the stair stepping effect but yeah, it's still overall, you know, a nice model. And then we go to the 0.3. This is the lowest quality and the fastest print. This is considered draft on most printers. And actually, this is the lowest resolution some printers can go, especially with a 0.04, uh, 0.04 millimeter nozzle or 0.4. I think it's 0.4. Still a little over extrusion. Um, it's hard to tweak my printer for all these different resolutions. I just got it the other day, but the main thing I want to show you is the stair stepping. Man, this looks ugly. You can totally tell this was printed. But uh, I mean, even the layers are so thick at this point that you can't even fill in the top layer. So, um, yeah, there's that. This is the back. There's supposed to be something. It's supposed to say 3D Benchy. But if I go to the point one, you'll see it's better. Still not totally visible, but oh, there, there we go. You can read that. So yeah, those are all the different models. Um, overall, unless I, I mean, I don't know why you would want to go 0 0.5, 0 0.05, because these two are pretty much exactly the same. I mean, if I, I, I like I said, I mix them up. So you, I mean. These are the, the same, and the time difference is about an hour and a half. So, if it were up to me, I'd just keep going with 0.1 millimeters. 
Um, even point two is acceptable. If you're going to like paint it afterwards or whatever, I mean, point two is perfectly fine. So, but yeah, I just want to bring you this quick and easy just guide on what you're going with. Um, one last thing I would like to touch on is uh, bridging. So this is the point five, point zero five, and you'll notice you see that little bit of bridging that kind of sticks out there, yeah? Right under this like cabin. So yeah, it's not that bad. I could just pull that off with tweezers. But if you look at the, this one, come on. There is absolutely no drooping. It's literally perfect. So yeah, this is the point two. Point one is just like this. So yeah, if you're going for bridging, thicker layers are always better. They hold together better. But thinner layers will droop and fall and tear, stuff like that. So that was my quick little guide. I hope it helped you uh, out some of you if you're looking to figure out what layer height you want to go with. And if you have any questions or whatever, just leave them in the comments. I'll respond. Uh, yeah. See you guys later.